Thanks for clicking on the webcast. I'm Laura Queso. Here's the latest from WNY TV News and the Star Gazette. A traffic stop led to a mobile meth lab bust over the weekend in Waverly. Here's a picture provided by the Waverly Police Department. Waverly Police stopped 35 year old David Brown of Athens for a traffic violation on West Pine Street. Well, that's when they discovered a meth lab inside the car. They also found needles, bags of meth, and chemicals used to make meth. Police also, ar also arrested three passengers, Angela Bigham, Kevin Hopkins, and Samantha Sir. All four are charged with criminal possession of a controlled substance and unlawful manufacturing of methamphetamine. Sir is also charged with false impersonation for giving officers the wrong name. All are in the Toga County Jail this morning. New York State Comptroller Thomas DiNapoli says the city of Elmira is showing signs of economic progress. The Comptroller paid a visit to Elmira Saturday to release his 2013 fiscal profile for the city. The report shows Elmira's revenue grew 4.1 percent on average annually. That was from 2001 to 2011. That's higher than the 3.4 percent average for other cities across the Empire State. On the flip side, the city's spending increased 3.1 percent during that time. That's slightly lower than the state average. DiNapoli is still concerned about unemployment and poverty rates in our area. In 2012, Elmira's unemployment rate of 10.7 percent was higher than the statewide rate of 8.5 percent. And more than 26 percent of families in Elmira actually are still living in poverty. What we're really trying to do is uh, identify as early as possible those communities that are facing significant fiscal stress. Why? We want to avoid a full fiscal crisis. Uh, this city is on better financial footing than many of the other upstate cities that we've been looking at. And Annapolis office is doing profiles on 61 cities across the state as a part of an initiative to highlight financial stress. Now to the debate on fracking. In the fierce debates over the safety of fracking for natural gas, one group is giving both sides a chance to make their points. Pittsburgh's Heinz Endowments is funding groups that say fracking can, can't ever be done safely. It is also working with major energy companies and environmentalists who believe the drilling can be done without hurting the environment. The director of the National Committee for Responsive Philanthropy says it appears the endowments are just trying to find a way to deal with the challenging issue of fracking. And lastly, we're happy to announce WENY HD News took home some serious hardware, a whopping 17 awards by the New York State Associated Press Broadcasters Association. We took home first place for best interview, best continuing coverage, best sports coverage. That's just to name a few. We strive each day to bring your best, and our local news team is proud to be the recipients of these awards. Best of all, we took home the grand prize for most awards by any news station in the state of New York. Very happy about that. All right, now here's meteorologist John Hickey with your forecast, John. <laughs> Well, it's an award-winning start to your week, if I can play off of all the awards that we won over the weekend. We have a lot of sunshine to start your week off. It's much cooler temperatures, too. Man, oh, man, was it just downright tropical over the weekend. Winds of change, our winds shift from the southwest to the northwest today. That's just a sign of the cooler temperatures and lower humidity heading in our direction. It's a sunny start to the week, but it's going to be a soggy finish. We're actually looking at a potential period of some heavier rain from Thursday into Friday with just some showers over the upcoming weekend. But let's not worry about that just yet. Let's focus on this. It's a beautiful day. Lots of sunshine developing for your afternoon. A 5-degree guarantee up to 71 degrees for today. All thanks to that cold front continuing to make eastward progress. High pressure moves in from the west. We get fairly clear tonight. Temperatures get pretty chilly, too, down to near 40, so you might want to actually close the windows before you go to bed tonight. Temperatures tomorrow in the low 70s for highs, one of those top 10 days of the year. Low humidity, sunshine, nice and warm, too, in the low 70s. We look ahead towards Tuesday night, getting cool again. We'll increase the cloud cover on Wednesday through the day, but no rainfall until the overnight period, and then, well, it might come down in buckets for a time for the end of the week. Let's take a look now at your seven-day forecast. Temperatures staying in the 70s this week. No signs of 90s here. Rain potentially starting Thursday with chances lingering into the upcoming weekend. And that's your forecast. Here's Laura. All right. Thank you so much, John, for the latest news, weather, and sports. Be sure to watch WENY HD News at 5.30, 6, and 11. And don't forget to pick up a copy of today's Star Gazette. I'm Laura Queso. Have a wonderful day.